Hello and welcome to this fifth tutorial on how to use NVIDIA Flex within Unreal Engine 4. Today we're going to talk about how to have uh, a Flex object generate collision events or overlap events with um, the rest of your uh, scene. So normally Flex do not uh, work with um, collision boxes but there's a trick uh, so that you can add collision to uh, a collision box to a Flex object. What I've done is I have created a, a blueprint, blue, blueprint called Flexbox and a blueprint called Light. And what we'll do is have a box that collides, uh, gets close to the light or collides with this collision box and then turns off the light. Uh, inside the Flexbox blueprint, uh, I'll add a Flex component. Um, I have to def uh, define a static mesh that I'll use as my flex component and um, I have a cube that I have converted into a flex object and the way you do that is you uh, open the static mesh editor, type flex in the detail search panel and choose flex solid asset and then I have chosen um, a flex rigid container as uh, the container template. This uh, container should be available if you are using the Flex project or you can uh, generate your own uh, container. So I'll go ahead and choose this box and then I'll add a collision box as well, a box collision and make sure that the box collision is a um, child of the Flex box. So let's enlarge this collision box so it encompasses the entire flex object and the way I found that this works best if, is, is if you uh, in your project settings under engine and collision uh, generate uh, or make your own object channel collision uh, collision channel so I've uh, made an object channel called it flex collision and set it its default response to overlap so in the flex box, we want to uh, generate overlap events to be ticked. Uh, can carrot to step upon? We don't need that. Uh, collision preset. It's custom. And let's see. Set this to flex collision object type. Now here you can see that this collision box will block all uh, flex collisions, uh, flex objects, and that's not not something we're interested in. So we'll set that to ignore. That should be it for the box. And then if we go back to the light, you see I have a simple light, a collision box. And this collision box, um, we don't want the carriage to step out on it. You want collision to query only. You don't need anything to, uh, you don't need this to act as a collision object. World static is fine, but I've said everything to ignore except this flex collision. So this box right here only uh, looks for uh, collision with uh, objects like our flex box here that has been defined as a flex collision object type. We set it to overlap. And then on the event graph, uh, I've chosen this box, collision box and added a on component begin overlap and an on component end overlap. I don't check if it's the right actor. Uh, I know that it's only Flexbox uh, right now. Of course, you can have some checks uh, if you want that. And then we're going to set the visibility on the lights. And let's see if that works. So we have our box right here. And I'm going to slide it into the collision box and it turns off. Now, normally, if this is another uh, flex box that I have. And if I try and push this flex box into the light, nothing happens. And you, you might say, well, you didn't uh, generate overlap events, events. So let's go back to our lights and this box and try and have um, collision with uh, overlap events with flex. 
I choose this box again, which is just a normal flex. It's collision. See, nothing happens. So you, you need this workaround where you add a collision component to your flex object for it to, to work with overlap events. But in this way, you can have um, rigids, only flex rigids, uh, interact with your scene. 